Does this sound like you? You're very bored with current job. You hate the girls' plateau, and you really want to go out and change your new profession or join a new company. However, you're very afraid of rejections, and you're also very afraid of wasting your past of years' experience to start from the beginning. You might think about you're too young, you're too old, and you stay in the current career for too long to make changes. But you literally hate your current job, your current situation, and your soul is empty every single day when you drag your feet going to office, but you're thinking about your next move. You're also very worried. What if I move to a new profession, new company? I'm not able to make as much money as I'm making right now, and you don't want to accept those lifestyle changes. Designing the career is actually very very difficult don't you think so and lots of time we feel so much struggle and you're so afraid choosing the wrong career path in this video i'm going to share with you the five step framework where you're able to decide your next career move with confidence and assurance stay until the end of this video where i share with you the secret to stay happy regardless your difficult career choice Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a direct product featured in Forbes. I've helped thousand people land their dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startups and continue to get promoted as a product leader. In this channel, we'll talk about tech trends and free product management training. Like and subscribe and check out new video every Tuesday. Uh, throughout your entire career path, you probably were forced or willing to make several difficult decisions in terms of moving to a new company, new career, new locations, or you might be thinking about taking a job offer that paid significantly lower than how much you were getting paid before. First of all, I want to let you know that you're not alone. A lot of average people like us or famous people, they have changed their career paths many times until they land their dream position and dream life. For example, the CEO of Google, Sunda Pichai, he studied masters in material science and engineering. Same age as me. And then he got his MBA and became a consultant and joined Google as a product manager and became a chief product officer. And now he's the CEO of Google for a couple of years. Sherry Sandberg studied economics major and then joined Washington, become a research scientist, and then got an MBA, became a consultant, then decided to join a hot Silicon Valley startup called Google to work on ads. And years later, she joined Facebook as a chief product officer. As you can tell, everybody had changed their title and their career path many times throughout the entire career. But the most important question is, how are you able to pick the right one with less stress? Now, let me share with you the top five framework you can use right away. And even myself, to my surprise, my career had changed so many times with no predictions. And I was a PhD in material science and became a systems engineer in oil rigs and then became product manager and turned into director of product. And now I'm a product management coach, also on my YouTube channel, podcast, and run my newsletter, giving out free job referrals and free product management training over there. And completely change what I imagine where my career can go. By the way, you guys should totally uh, subscribe to my newsletter and check out all the free job openings. Throughout the entire career change journey, I discovered a very powerful framework and help myself and people like you help myself and my students really find happiness in the career whenever they feel confused and want to make difficult decisions. And the framework is called SPIT framework, it stands for strengths, passion, income, trend, and value. First of all, let's talk strengths. I highly recommend everybody to use strengths-focused methodology to search and find your next career path. Regardless, you're fresh out of school or you have been in your current career for a very long time and you really hate what you're doing. For example, I found out myself had a science background, which is material science, but I'm very outgoing, a very people person. And then product management career is a perfect career that aligns my strengths that's technical and also people-based. And when I started those social media, I started focus on YouTube first and instead of podcast, because I knew that my strengths is public speaking and speaking in front of camera, but my weakness is, as you know, my pronunciation, my accent. So I don't speak like native speakers. Therefore, at the beginning of my career, I stay away from my podcast. However, after grow my social media present on YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, and TikTok, I start to face my challenges and weakness, which is podcast, because I realized that lots of people, they really enjoy watching my content and they feel like it's not long enough for them to learn great insights. So I decided to face my imposter syndrome and start to challenge podcasts. That's the birth of Product Insider Podcast. Now it has been one of the most popular product management podcasts. You guys can go here and learn more and search Product Insider by Dr. Nancy D on Apple and Spotify. If you're not sure about your strengths, I recommend all of you guys to check out this book called Strengths Finder. It has a test, help you to do evaluation, identify your strength. It's actually very accurate. Second is passion. Passion fills the soul. 
Each time when I film my YouTube video, I feel so happy. Even if I might only have one view and two views, I literally feel very happy inside my heart. Whenever you focus on passion, I don't want you to think about the tangible result right away. Because at the beginning of my YouTube journey, at the first three years, I did have very little views and I only broke 100 followers after the first three years. Surprise! So I felt very struggled when I focused on passion in the beginning. However, one of the product manager at YouTube told me that, hey Nancy, maybe you think about the people you can impact through your passion. Maybe you have one view, two views, and three views, but those three people who watch a YouTube video is able to change their lives. And then my passion literally become my motivation, become the highlight of my day-to-day -day life. And whenever I receive an email like this, my follower Matei saying that my video literally changed his life and he landed a remote product manager job by watching this video right here. So that's the passion is definitely one of the most important things of the SPIT framework. The I stands for income. Of course, let's also face a reality. For income, I personally do want to accept something like significantly lower than how much I was getting paid, but everybody wants to give yourself a number. How much is enough? How much pay cut is reasonable for you to sacrifice your income for passion? And maybe you can find a career path you don't need to sacrifice your income at all. For example, I have students who are artists, became a product manager, or a software engineer, became a product manager, and the salary is actually higher than how much it was getting paid before. So therefore, in terms of income, you don't have to reduce the income to focus on something you love using your strengths. You just need to find the right career path who had relative high income level and potentially meet your passion and also strengths. I made a separate video regarding product management career path, which I personally believe is one of the best career paths everybody needs to focus on that gives you high income and also use your strengths and align with your passion. You can check out this video for more details regarding product management career paths right here. I'm also going to link it in the description of this video. If you find this advice very valuable, please make sure to smash the like button. So let's continue the video. Number four is trend. When we choose a career path, it's better to choose the entire industry is going to trend up, not trend down. For example, use AI as an example. The entire industry AI is going to go through the roof. It's definitely with the very beginning of the AI era. If you join early in the AI space right now, and maybe the coming two years and five years when AI become a mainstream, and you're already at the very beginning of the AI era, and then you can directly grow with the industry exponentially. There's also other industry that's trending right now, for example, renewable energy. Definitely, that's one of the reasons I left Shell Oil years ago, because eventually all of those fossil fuels will be replaced by renewable energy. If you're interested in growing your career in AI, I recommend everybody to start taking some free AI courses on Coursera and LinkedIn. Start getting immersed with this new technology right away. I have a list of highly recommended AI courses and free resources. You guys can go to this website and also gonna put the link in the description for you to download. Number five is value. So value stands for your personal value. For example, my personal value is work by balance and also family. As the mom of two young kids, and right now my baby is only four months old when I'm filming this video, I really believe in work-life balance and I want to be a great mom. So family is definitely the number one thing. So therefore, when I choose my career and the next coming two years or maybe three years, I want to prioritize work-life balance. Any kind of career that can support me being a great mom at a very flexible schedule so that I can spend lots of high quality family time with my kids. Now here is the most important bonus tip to achieve your career happiness and satisfaction significantly. Even if you are on the fence regarding should I do career pass one, career pass two, and maybe you're stuck in your current job. Let's say you're on H1B, you cannot leave and transition into a new profession right away. What can you do? There's something can increase your career happiness right away, which is 80-20 rules. Let's say through those speed framework, you identified your passion or your strengths lies in certain domain. For example, I realized that my passion was in YouTube. However, my YouTube channel really didn't make any income for three years at all. So it doesn't fit into I part of the framework and also doesn't make sense for me to quit my full-time job to focus on YouTube at all. So therefore, I did 80-20 rules. I decided to focus on YouTube during the weekend because those 20% of time I put into my passion lead to 80% of my career happiness. And on top of that, I have zero income expectations for my passion because this is just to fulfill my whole happiness. But you never know, one day 
you were able to turn your passion into some positive income and eventually replace a full-time job. You will never know until you start trying this 80-20 rules starting from today. And the most important mindset you need to keep in mind when you apply those rules is a growth mindset. Regardless where you are in your current career, you must continue to grow your career, grow your skills in different dimensions. Could be your personal space growth, could be your mindset growing, could also be your new skills de developing. So therefore, maybe in the near term, you have a solution to your current career path, but you're continuous growing yourself, eventually identify the best career path for you using the SPIT framework. If you're interested in exploring the trend of AI product management, make sure to go to this website where I gave you the top recommended AI courses you can start learning for free today. And if you think product management career is the right career path for you through those evaluations, you should definitely check out my playlist regarding how to become a product manager with no experience right here. This is Dr. Nancy Lee from PMAccelerator.io. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to see you in my next video right here.